A news release confirms some of the findings from an investigation into board members of the Beauregard Electric Co-op. Yet for members and others, the announcement may have created as many questions as it answered. KPLC's Teresa Schmidt reports. Beauregard Electric Co-op members are among those calling for more information since the release about the board investigation. It sheds some light on issues but withholds names and recommendations from Keen Miller, the law firm hired to do the investigation. One of the findings is that some directors interfered with day-to-day -day operations by calling some employees directly to get work done rather than follow the chain of command. At a board meeting, General Man Manager Brian Zelenak pleaded for that to stop. They cannot be taking direction from each of you individually because that confuses the priority that I have them working on. So I'm going to ask you respectfully again, number one, you're going to call them, call, call me. Do not call the employees and give them work direction. The board also received a preliminary report on the 2023 audit, but according to the CPA, it's not complete yet. Still, CPA Eric Gruber discussed some recommendations, such as a yearly review of fringe benefits. Or the um, safety cards that should be subject to um, payroll reporting. All the ones that we kind of review during our process of the audit would include the commuting portion of uh, corporate vehicles that would be need to be put in um, employee wages, corporate wages, as well as gym stipends that would also need to be looked at to see if those would need to be put in uh, employee wages. Gruber said the purpose of the recommendation was to provide more accurate regulatory reporting. Teresa Schmidt, 7 News. KPLC has requested more information from the Beauregard Electric Administration and Board. They have not yet responded and no word when the audit will be complete and available.